one has time for fake and untrustworthy friends. Not even the tea, but just, just like being a decent human being. You feel me? Three, two, one. Hey guys, what's up? It's emergency. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are here with a special guest. Student employee and my friend, Termaya. Come on, say it with me now, right? One, two, three. Termaya. Termaya. Good. Today, we're going to be making a vision board because I asked you guys in the last video and you guys overwhelmingly said that you wanted to see a vision board video and I got to set up this baby. Oh, sorry. Right here. Um, before the semester starts anyway, which is this Monday, so I was like, you know what, win-win, might as well get it done and show you guys as well. So I'm going to explain the importance of a vision board to doubters out there that may have clicked on this video and maybe like, why am I watching this because I don't care about a vision board or something, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to be thinking, what do you think? Good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, vision boards are a great way to keep on track of your life, especially your first year in college or like any year in college really, because they help you like get focused on like what you need to do throughout the year. You know, does that make sense, Shamaya? Yeah. Okay, good, good. So yeah, I've been doing them for about like three years now and they've been super, super, super duper helpful in everything I've been doing because I have, I like to brag about this, but I made like three or four vision boards and I completed everything on that board every single time, so. It's proven. Law of attraction, it's real. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you're making a vision board is come up with some visions. So right now I'm gonna try and jot down some visions cause like I haven't really thought of this before. I just kind of thought of the idea and then like turned on the camera and here we are, as you can tell by like everything going on right now. So yeah, let's find some visions. I encourage you to do this along with me because you know this is you're doing this with me, we're in this together. We're both we're both living our best lives and gonna get all of our dreams together. For college, I usually do them like per semester because I feel like your goals even change from semester to semester in college. So you can do it for like a whole year, you can do it for like a month. I do it for like a big chunk of time. So there's a lot of time for me to actually achieve those goals. And the key to vision boards, I didn't mention this before because I was distracted, but the key to vision boards is to have your visions be like long-term, like within a finite amount of time, but like a long period of time, and for them to be kind of broad. Have them pointed towards a certain direction, but like have the concepts overall be pretty broad. So it's so, like astrology, um, where you exact. can say like anything and it'll apply to you because it's broad enough. Exactly. So you say like, yeah, I want to get like good grades this semester. And then like, can get whatever grades you want and then call them good and you did. <laughs> No, but actually, like, you set for yourself what good is. Also, you cannot put that clip in there because they're going to think I hate astrology. I have co-star and I have the pattern and I know my entire birth chart and, like, I fully stand astrology. All right. So, first of all, what do I want? Um, good grades is always nice. That's Some good resis would be nice. Oh, right. I'm not right now. I want to be a good resource to my residents. I want to have a good life balance. Not necessarily just, like, work-life balance, but, like, balance overall so like that means like RA stuff YouTube school friends life relaxing personal time all that also I want to grow on YouTube because YouTube is great you know what I just thought of some advice which is like summing this up you know how I like broke apart like all those parts of your life make a goal for each one of those parts you know good shit I should write this down yeah you should um what else I want to get back into the gym because it's been a couple of days. So if you go to Southwell, would you consider that completing your goal? I also want to cook for myself. I want to be able to self-sustain myself now that I have a kitchen and not run out of G-Rope. Can I tell you some of my goals and then yeah. project them on to you? Yeah, yeah. I really want to budget more, be more confident with my money. Um, I used to be like that, and then my mom was like, you're young, spend your money. And I was broke for a good three months, um, but now we're getting back to saving money. You also can't do that. I've been trying to look for my like what I do normally is I print them out which I will show you and hang them up and I usually keep those printouts and then keep them and then repurpose them I put like maybe like two or three things um, just consistently on my vision board so I can keep doing that and that's usually like exercise grades and YouTube and then the rest sort of just um, changes depending on where I'm at in life Ooh, <laughs> I want um, to make money. I want to start a new side hustle. That's what I want to do. Okay, that's good. Stay close to my family. I'll put like meet five new friends. You know? No, actually. 
we met like three days ago, or three days from now. Like you remember the exact date? No, but I think it was like the first week. Anyways, let's get to actually making those vision boards. <laughs> now that we have all those hashed out, we're going to actually type them up. I generally like typing them and then putting them on because I'm not too artistically gifted. You can like write them out and like draw pictures if you want, if you want to do more work. I'm going to like do like a cool little screen recording and see like how that goes. Can you feel me? <laughs> Don't look at my bookmarks. We ignore it. Right, hold on. <laughs> we ignore it. <laughs> We are on here. What I normally do is I go on to Google Drive, but I'm feeling extra foreign today. So I just learned this from like RA training, but I'm gonna go into this neat little website called Canva. So now what I wanna do, we're here, we're on Canva. I want to add my little text that I had before. Finish semester, good, good. grades. I'll be a little bit more specific this time actually because my course load is a little different so I'm gonna try finish semester on That means like A's and B's, right? I think so. Let's do it. Uh -huh. So right now we're going to like find a picture. A pluses. I like using that is not A plus. I like using clip art <laughs> because it makes me feel really good about myself. See, this is the exact picture I used last time, too. See, like, copy, save image as. So, what grades did you get last time? Were they good or good enough? They're, they were good. You hesitated. So, how about you choose a different A+, because maybe that A+, wasn't doing it for you. Like, I like that A+. Like, you, that, no, no, yeah. Like, that teacher, they were like, you did so well, I had to circle the grade twice. That's the shit you want in your life. Here you go. Here is the final product of the first one. I'm gonna do the rest of them off camera because I feel like this would take forever if I did this for every single one. But I will resume when all of these are done and then I'll cut them out and show you guys what's good. Okay, so we officially finished this. It took a little bit of time, but I added little pictures here as you can see. First, finish semester and Dean's must be a good resource residence, all that, all that. I added pictures to all these and then I actually added one last one that says be a better friend to others because I felt like that was important to um, have on there because it's something I also want to improve on and be a better friend, you know? Um, so yeah, now got to print those out and then we'll start cutting and pasting them on the board. Okay, so this is the part of the video where it kind of turns into a vlog. Me and Shermaya are on the way to um, Shankman because we're going to go printing to go print out all that stuff. Amazing people. Yeah. Okay, we're here. We're at the we're at the printing place. Andrea's here. Hi, Andrea. It's my husband. Really stop. Okay, so it's printing right now. Here we go. Very exciting stuff. Ooh, it's all done. All right, sweet, perfect. All right, here is everything here, and. No, I think I'm gonna Ew. cut this and then head back. Okay, so we got the stuff, we're back. Here we go, all printed out, all nice and trendy and great and amazing. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. <laughs> and I usually like cutting it in like circles, um, like to make it more bubbly because I really don't like the box look and it also helps you save space. So I feel like a DIY channel right now, honestly. and. I'm loving every second of it. I'll also, Tremaya kind of left because, like, low key, like, really low key, this may or may not be the next day. <laughs> I was never really a big fan of the whole arts and crafts sort of thing back in, like, elementary school and, like, middle school. Simply because I'm, like, not talented. I always feel kind of embarrassed because everyone else's artwork or, like, drawings or paintings or whatever it may have been was so much better than mine, like leaps and bounds better than mine. And the sad part was I was trying hard. Like I, I tried so, 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 so hard. Like at one point I wanted to be like so artistic. I decided to draw a comic book. That's right, me drawing a comic book. I don't think I have it here, but I have it back at my house. And like, I made that in like fifth grade. And I can like clearly remember that for some reason. Maybe because I was proud of it or something. I think I'm going to time lapse this because I've been a really big fan of time-lapsing recently, so I'm just gonna time-lapse this whole process. Okay, 
right, so we have everything cut out now. Um, it's all in like circles and like pieces now. The final part is like the most, or not necessarily like the most fun part, but like it's like, you know, it's the most satisfying part. And that is putting everything up, you can't see right now what I'm planning to, but putting everything up on my vision board. The one thing you will need for this are some form of like adhesive or like a push pin. Like I have push pins that I like to use right here um, to hang them up on my vision board. So let's get into it. Now is the fun part. Use. I'm just hoping this doesn't like fall off because if you watched our last video, you know that this kind of wasn't very sturdy. So I'm hoping like once we put stuff on, it doesn't just like collapse. I don't really have any set order for how I put these on. I generally just like stick them on like, like anywhere I really feel like. The first vision of fall 2019 is to finish the semester on Dean's list. The one thing that I really like about vision boards is that they're pretty cheap. Um, pretty much the only thing you need to pay for is the cork board, which on Amazon or like a craft store doesn't really go for that much. I don't really remember how much this was because I bought it maybe like four years ago, three or four years ago. Um, but they're not that expensive. And then the, the only other thing that you need is like really the adhesive stuff. And plus a vision board can be your motivation and can also double as decoration if you do it fancy-like. I'm not necessarily doing it fancy-like because again, I'm not an aesthetic person. And of course, if you notice, or you probably haven't noticed, I haven't put all of them up yet, but with my visions, I try and make them more tailored to me. So all the pictures of people in them are black <laughs> because like hits closer to home to me. Like even in all of my stock images, like here, like being a better friend, oh, hold on. there you go. So even with this, for like being a better friend, I know it's a funny picture, but um, I try to all have black people and like black males, cause that's, that's me. Next, be a better friend to others. You already know the vibes, it's good friend season. All for the rest of 2019 because no one has time for fake and untrustworthy friends. Not even the tea, that's just like, you know, being a decent human being, you feel me? I definitely didn't mention this before cause I was like really, all over the place. But you wanna hang this vision board somewhere where you see it like every day, like somewhere very visible. Um, because then it's just like a constant reminder. I know I'm not doing it, it's in like my office. It also be crazy. I know a lot of um, freshmen, like especially GW freshmen, watch my videos and it's gonna be crazy if I like go on rounds and like go through people's dorms and I just see a whole bunch of vision boards that be funny. I think that's everything. Ooh, wait, I think that is everything. I think it looks weird now. I need like a title right here saying like vision board. I think I'll print that off camera and then just cut to the end. But I'm just gonna rearrange these. But yeah, here it is. And maybe a final look once everything is like reorganized and all of that. Okay, so here we are, finally done. Got the vision board right here. I'm sorry that I'm like soaking wet. I went out into the elements outside and it's currently raining so Oh, uh, I made sacrifices, but it's fine. The vision board is all done, all completed in its entirety, and it's looking pretty good. Pretty DIY, if I do say so myself, and I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to join the roommates. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and comment down below what your different um, visions are, but different goals are, because I like to know. Also, don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss an upload or a community tab post. Follow me on all my socials so you can see the behind the scenes information and participate in future videos. Make sure to share this video with a friend if you wanna make a vision board with them or just tell them to get on their This is a family friendly channel, so I'm not gonna curse. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Emergency, and I'll see you guys in the next video.